Aesthetic V Vlog with Trash McSweeney from the Red Painting. And what do you got happening here? Um, this here is uh, my alien fetus friend named Jimmy Urine. If you can see him, you probably can't. But anyway, <laughs> he's doing his thing and he's hanging out in Hollywood. And we're right at the front of Mark Ryden's big exhibit. This is like a huge deal for me because I've loved these artworks for as long as I can live. Um, and last night we went to the VIP launch. It was amazing, right? It was really cool, yeah. And the work is just amazing. I mean, I know I, oh my God. I love it. It's like surreal. What do you love about it? Um, it's really fantasy-like to me. It's like very childlike, but it has like a lot of meaning behind it. Um, so I've used a lot of his artworks as, I guess, um, stencils of my own art, as in musically the way that I created my compositions by looking at his art. So I don't know, his world means a lot to me. So tell me a little bit about the red paintings and you're gearing up for a UK tour and what's yeah, going on? Um, yep, yeah, we got tours in the UK and uh, in Europe and we just released an album called The Revolution Never Coming, which is invisible, it's like that. And um, I don't know, we're just one of those bands that keeps touring and touring and trying to get our message across the world like everybody else, I guess. But we just do it in a freaky way. And why is isn't The Revolution Coming? The Revolution is Never Coming is a contradictive record. Um, it's basically saying if you want to start your own revolution, you've got to get off your ass and do it yourself. Because that's what I found in this music industry. And I find there's a lot of people on social media who will do a post and say, you know, like this, we've got to change the world. I say you've got to get out of your houses, off your computer seats, and actually do it for real. You've got to move your muscles and create energy, it's all about energy. And that's what we do with the red paintings. You have people painting on stage in real time. Well, you're not really a typical band. You kind of mix art and multimedia things. Do you want to like speak to that a little? Or? Um, yeah, I guess so. It's like an art performance act. Um, we have live painters, as I said earlier. So um, people submit their artworks now all around the world and we choose the artists that we want to work with. So you'll have up to four painters at every show. And then we have human canvases. So we have people that will be metaphors of the songs or the album we're touring or the single. Um, at the moment, we're, we're about to tour a stage show starting next week in the UK um, that's called Alicia, which is half geisha and half alien hybrid. And we bring that together into a stage show. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little about your process and what inspires you? Or um, I get really inspired by the animal rights community, to be honest. I, I love being a part of something that's, um, I guess, fulfilling. Um, it gives you integrity and I, I, I don't eat animals and I, and I work towards um, opening up people's minds to realize that probably the biggest change you can do on this planet at this time is actually not eat animals, period. Um, so that's like a big deal with us. Um, and who doesn't love animals? Like, why would you want to eat them? But I understand why people do as well. And I see you have a special animal yes, here on your back. this is not back. real fur, by the way, so don't hold it. <laughs> this is my little Star Wars friend. He's going to put me in a cave and uh, probably rip my head off. So I have to be nice to him. Yeah. Do you have any advice for upcoming rockers who want to get out there? Never give up on your vision and I guess always think relentlessly about everything. If you're not going to be relentless then probably don't worry about doing it because you probably won't make it. That's very negative of me. It depends why you want to do things. If you're just doing it for a hobby then so be it. But if you want to do it to change the world and, and that's your core of everything that you do then um, it's hard work. It's very, very hard work, as you would know, because you have managed big bands and you've seen what it's like. Yes, I have. In all and different... We're going to show a little from your clip, Wasp. And, oh, cool. Um, Thank you. I guess that's really it. Say, we'll be signing off. Vicki Hamilton for Aesthetic v -Blood with um, Trash McSweeney. Clean your hands in the dirty water. From Mazatlan to New York. Wash the hair away the china doll in my They were not detected by radar by either country. What am I?